One of the staples of the Microsoft SQL products for years on maintenance has been the database maintenance plan wizard. And Microsoft's gone one better. Now I want to show you, I'll just show you how to kick off the maintenance plan wizard. And I won't go all the way through it because there's so many possibilities, but I'll just show you how to kick it off. If you go into the management folder under your server and look at maintenance plans, if you right click and choose maintenance plan wizard, don't do new maintenance plan, do maintenance plan wizard, this will kick off the maintenance plan wizard. Very similar to the one that you've seen in previous versions. If you've never seen this, you're simply going to answer questions. First of all, it's going to say, on which server do you want to perform maintenance tasks? Well, I can click here and choose which server I want to work on. And it'll go out and browse the network and find my SQL servers. And I say, well, I'll do the Leesburg Mark. And I click Next. Now it's going to ask me, what do you want to do here? Well, I want to do a full database backup and I want to rebuild my index. Okay, so there's my two choices. And notice it's asking me, which one do you want to do first? In the order for these to execute. And now notice to rebuild my indexes, I choose the databases and I'll do all user databases. Now I always do two separate maintenance plans on my SQL servers. I do one for the system databases and one for my user databases. Because you get into situations with some of the system databases about transaction log backups and so forth that it just doesn't work the same way. Plus, I like to see those separately. I want to know that my master MSDB databases got backed up and we're okay, and I want to know that my user databases, uh, and I don't want a failure on one to cause a problem on the other. So I always do two separate ones. Do it however you'd like. But, so I'm going to tell it all user databases here, and then notice, remember when we talked about fill factor in another place in the uh, video series? This is where I set that. Notice change free space per page percentage, and I can say 20%, so I have 20% free space. Okay, there's some other advanced options down here that you'll just have to look out uh, into the uh, documentation for about these. Now to back up my database, a full task, I'm going to choose the databases. I'll take all user databases. Okay, and then notice, I click Next. Now I'm going to schedule when I want my maintenance plan to run. Okay, well I want to run every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 a.m. I want to start 1-3-2006, and I want to have an end date, and I have to give this a name, my M plan schedule, notice the job's enabled, I hit OK, and then next, I will write a report for my maintenance plan as it happens, and now it takes me through the list of everything that I've done, and I can verify it before I actually finish it in OK. Now, once I finish it in OK, it builds the jobs and they're ready to go. This is pretty straightforward and simple. What you want to do is go through here and set up everything that you want to have happen and then check this thing, verify your backups, make sure everything's being done just like you want it, watch it for a day or two, and then past that you should be fine. Uh, this thing should just run and it should be a matter of letting it notify you that everything's OK, just doing a little spot checking on it, and it should take care of it for you. Uh, don't get into the habit of going weeks or months without checking up on this thing because again, keep in mind, all this falls under the auspices of the SQL Server agent and if your SQL Server agent is, is down, uh, then these things aren't running. So you want to uh, keep a check on this. So now that's the database maintenance plan wizard. Now I'm just going to tempt you just a little bit with a new idea that Microsoft has and this is a new maintenance plan. And I'll just show you, if I right click on maintenance plan, let me do that again, and choose new maintenance plan, you will see that I can say OK, and this is going to give you kind of a workspace area. And with this, I build my own plan, OK? Notice to build a sub plan, I can drag task from the maintenance toolbox, OK? So the first thing that I want to do is I can go to the toolbox from the maintenance tasks toolbox, and so what I'll have to do is go to View, and I'll have to choose Toolbox, and now I mouse that over that and let it come out, and I'm going to make this one go away. Now notice, I can just drag onto here a backup database task, and once I've got it dropped on here, then I simply right-click it and go to Edit, 
and now I can set this and notice if do I have a connection I have a local server connection if I want to do a new connection I simply click here give it a name of a connection hit my new server and then uh, choose my authentication method and I'll cancel this because I don't want to do it now select my database and I'll say all user databases select my backup type any other information I need notice that I can view my transact SQL and there's all the script that it generated okay and say okay now there's a backup task now if I want to do something else for example if I want to check the database integrity I can drag this on here okay and then uh, that will happen okay does that make sense now this thing's a little clunky to learn at first once you get used to it, you can build it out graphically and look at it, and it's a really cool tool. But that's the maintenance plan design tool. So uh, just kind of wet your whistle with that. Go out and play with that some. It's a pretty cool uh, idea.